most online business owners are thinking about and using AI all wrong. There are literally thousands of AI tools out there with seemingly new tools being added every single day. Smart business owners are already using some of these tools to save hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars in their business. But the reality is most people are wasting time and money on AI tools that they don't need, ending up overwhelmed and frustrated instead of actually being more productive in their business. In this video, I'm gonna show you why most online businesses are using AI wrong, the exact framework to identify the right AI tools for your online business and my special secret to save hundreds of dollars on AI tools. If you're new here, my name is Rick Mulready and for 11 years now, I've run an online business where I've generated multiple seven figures helping online businesses grow and scale their business more efficiently. And today I help online businesses leverage AI to work less in your business while also becoming more profitable in the process. To understand why most businesses are using AI wrong, we first need to start with a question. And that question is, what is the biggest pain point in your business right now? What do you wish you could make way easier? I'm talking about those time consuming, energy draining activities that keep you from focusing on what you do best as the online business owner. Maybe it's writing endless social media posts or spending countless hours on customer emails or struggling to create consistent content in your business. But here's what I see happening all the time. Online businesses do the complete opposite of this, not asking these questions. You see a shiny new AI tool and start thinking, how can I use this instead of starting with your actual business challenges? Think about it. When you're super clear on what your pain point is or what you want to simplify in your business, finding the right AI tool or the best AI automation becomes straightforward. No more guesswork, wasting hundreds of hours and no more wasted subscriptions. Take Notebook LM, the tool that everyone's been buzzing about, including me. Yes, my last video right here was all about some super cool use cases for Notebook LM. When you hear about it, it's super tempting to immediately jump in and start playing around with it, trying to figure out how can you use it in your business? Look, I get it. The FOMO is real and nobody wants to miss out on the next game changing tool, right? But this is exactly the backwards approach that I'm talking about here. Instead of asking, how can I use Notebook LM, for example, you should be asking what specific research or content creation tasks am I struggling with that I would love help with? And then, and only then, then, does Notebook LM solve or make easier any of the tasks within these workflows? See the difference there? One approach has you trying to force fit a tool into your business. The other starts with your actual business needs and then you find the best tool or tools or automation to match. And I see this happening all the time with business owners. They hear about a new AI tool, maybe it's like Cursor AI or Mid Journey or whatever the latest thing is and they immediately sign up for it. They spend hours trying to figure out how to use it, watching tutorials, joining communities. And three months later, that tool is still sitting there unused. Why? Because they never had a clear problem in their business that they were trying to solve with it in the first place. It's like buying exercise equipment without having a workout plan. Sure, you might use it a few times, but without a clear strategy, it then just becomes expensive clutter. And this is exactly why so many online business owners feel overwhelmed by AI right now. They're trying to focus on every new AI tool and instead of focusing on what their business actually needs. And this is one reason why I created my school community called the AI Playbook Premium to help online business owners like you cut through the noise and actually leverage AI in your business so that you can be working fewer hours and increasing profit in the business in the process. In my school community, our members are saving five plus hours per week within the first week of them joining the community here using our proven approach to AI, our systems, our strategies. We've got done for you AI automations, weekly coaching calls with me. Our classroom is packed with training and our community is just awesome. Super supportive, amazing group of online businesses. And in addition to AI coaching that you're gonna get in here and the community, you're also getting online business, expert online business coaching from me. So I'll link to the community in the description below. 
Look forward to seeing you inside there. So here's how I actually recommend approaching this. Step number one, start with your business challenges. For example, what's driving you crazy right now in your business? What tasks are piling up right now? What do you find yourself procrastinating on because you just hate doing it? Make a list of all these things that you'd love to get off your plate or you wanna make more efficient in the business. And a common mistake here, by the way, is being too vague. Don't just write down like content creation, get super specific. Is it writing social posts? weekly emails, emails, sequences, writing a sales page, creating course materials, get super specific with it. Because the more specific you are, the easier it will be to find the right AI solution for it. Okay, step number two is to look at that list and prioritize it. Which of these tasks, if you could make them easier or even automate them completely, would have the biggest impact on your business right now? Maybe it's content creation, maybe it's email management, whatever it is. Ask yourself, which of the tasks take up the most time each week, causes the most stress or frustration for you? If that task or workflow is automated, would it free you up to focus on what you do best? Another question, which of these tasks is directly tied to making or saving money in your business? And then another one, which tasks keep getting pushed to the bottom of your to-do list? For example, maybe you're spending like three hours every week writing social media posts, or you're constantly falling behind on creating new content for your your course, or maybe you are drowning in customer service emails. These are exactly the type of tasks we want to identify because they're repetitive enough to automate, they're time consuming enough to matter, they're important enough to impact your business, and they're structured enough that AI can actually help you. But the mistake that most people make here is they start prioritizing based on what's urgent rather than what's actually important. Or they try to tackle everything all at once. Look, pick one high impact task or workflow to start with. And then once you've identified these high impact tasks, then we can move on to step number three. And that is take that high priority task and break it down. And I'm talking really break it down into the small steps that are involved in accomplishing that task or workflow. This is your SOP or standard operating procedure. So like, let's say you are writing a weekly email newsletter. The steps you take to do this might look like starting off with brainstorming content topic ideas, maybe researching those topic ideas, writing that first draft of the email, finding images to put in the email, editing, then polishing that editing, and then doing the final put together of the newsletter, and then scheduling the newsletter. That's a whole bunch of steps instead of just saying, okay, publishing a new email every single week. And once you have all the steps mapped out, then we can move on to step number four in our framework here. And this is the fun part, right? Now and only now is when you start looking at AI tools. And here's the beautiful part. Because you know exactly what problems you need to solve, finding the right AI tools becomes so much clearer. You're not just choosing the latest shiny object AI tool, you are choosing specific solutions for the specific steps in your workflow. Let me show you exactly how this plays out with that newsletter example I just talked about. Once you've broken down your newsletter process into steps, now you can start matching AI tools to specific parts of that process. For coming up with content ideas, for example, you might use ChatGPT to brainstorm topics based on a course launch you have coming up in the business. For research for the newsletter, maybe no Notebook helps you gather and organize information from different sources. In writing your first draft, maybe use Claude to help structure your email so that it's a conversational format that aligns with your brand. For the images that you put into the newsletter, maybe it's Dolly 3 or Adobe Firefly or Ideogram. Or you might use an AI workflow tool like MindPal to do the entire email workflow all in one place. See how this is different from just randomly trying AI tools? Instead of asking, what can this AI tool do, now you're asking what tool can help me with the specific step within my workflow. And this is how you actually get results with AI, by matching specific AI tools to specific needs in your business. Let's look at another example. Maybe it's sales calls with potential clients. Maybe right now your process looks like scheduling the call, prepping for the call, doing the call, following up to the call, figuring out how you're going to overcome objections that the person brought up, following the framework that we're talking about here, you might use Calendly, for example, with ChatGPT, do automated scheduling and personalized confirmation emails. You then might use Claude or ChatGPT to help create custom pre-call questionnaires. You might use Zoom for the actual call. Maybe you then use Otter AI to record the call, transcribe the call, and then to also write the follow-up email that will go out after your call to the person you just had the call with. Or again, maybe you use a tool like Lindy AI to 
handle the whole sales call process. Again, see how we're not starting with, oh, I heard ChatGPT is really good for sales. Rather, we're starting with each specific step in your sales process, and then we're finding the right tool to make each of those steps easier. Now you might be thinking, well, wait, what if I miss out on this awesome AI tool by not trying all the cool tools I keep hearing about? Well, here's the truth. The most successful online businesses streamlining their business with AI aren't the ones testing every single new tool out there. They're the ones who know exactly what they need to solve and finding the right tools for those specific things. Or maybe you're thinking, this all sounds well and good, but it's gonna take too long. I need solutions right now. Actually, this approach that I'm sharing with you here today is gonna save you tons of time in the long run. Instead of wasting a ton of hours and a bunch of money testing random AI tools, you'll know exactly what you're looking for and why. Look, there are really only two ways to approach AI in your business. The first way, what 90% of business owners are doing is chasing every new tool that launches, wasting hundreds of hours and potentially losing out on thousands of dollars in your business trying to figure out how to use them. This is exactly how you end up overwhelmed and frustrated with a stack of unused AI tool subscriptions. The second way, and this is what I've just showed you here in today's video, is what smart business owners are doing. They start with what actually matters, their specific business problems, and then they break them down and find the right AI tools to solve them. One approach leaves you constantly wondering if you're missing out on the next big thing, just adding to that overwhelm that we were talking about earlier. The other gives you clarity to actually save those hundreds of hours and increase profit in the business in the meantime, like I talked about at the beginning of this video. One has you trying to force fit AI tools in your business exactly what most people are doing. The other has AI tools working for you exactly where and how you need them, which is again, what those smart business owners are doing. This is the difference between wasting money and time on AI tools that you don't actually need and using AI to actually become more productive and efficient in your business. Start with the problem that you're trying to solve first and then figure out the tools, not the other way around. All right, make sure to join us inside my AI Playbook Premium School community. The link is down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.